What you guys got another video here for you. Should you install Windows 11 now or should you wait a while longer? This is the question I get all the time in my comment section and also on my Discord server. Well, first off, Windows 11 doesn't do anything that Windows 10 can't. So if you're on Windows 10, uh, you can still use Windows 10 up until October 2025. There's a strong possibility that Microsoft could extend uh, the lifespan or life cycle of Windows 10 to even further. So we don't know yet until we get to 2025, which is quite a while away. So there's no need to rush to upgrade or install Windows 11. Windows 11 is Windows 10 with a facelift, in my personal opinion. You can see that by when you search around Windows 11, you see remnants of Windows 10. Some things are called Windows 10, even though we're on Windows 11. So this tells me they've just done a massive uh, feature pack update, i.e. for all of the GUI that we see here, which is all the rounded edges and all the nice fancy uh, features that they've added into Windows 11. Yes, some things will be different on Windows 11. They're always adding new stuff to Windows 11. So you're going to get new task manager and you're going to get new settings panel and loads of other things like a new start menu. And it's a complete new experience with Windows 11. They've completely changed the way we navigate around our operating system compared to Windows 10. So not everyone likes this, uh, but again, it will take some time to get used to uh, because it is a complete new learning curve when you're moving around things on Windows 11. They've buried the old legacy style menus all the way down uh, in the menu system here because they want you to use the new settings pane and things like that. So bear that in mind if you're looking to upgrade. Windows 11, as far as I can see, is pretty stable. I've been using it since the beginning and I've only seen some minor uh, issues with Windows 11, but most of it is pretty stable and uh, you know, I think you can uh, thank Windows 10 for that because they've done a lot of work on Windows 10 to fix and iron out all of the uh, bugs and issues that they had with Windows 10 in its infancy. But now they've uh, got a lot of those uh, fixed and finished. I think what they did was released Windows 11. And we know Windows 10 is part of the uh, core structure of Windows 11 because you could access some of the menus and some of the other features in Windows 11 doing registry tweaks. Although Microsoft have closed the door on these now, but it just goes to prove that there was uh, some Windows 10 features still in Windows 11, which tells me Windows 11 is Windows 10 with a facelift. Now, Windows 11 is certainly not finished yet. There's a lot of features that they are going to be adding to Windows 11. There's also a lot of uh, things that people are not happy with, i.e. the start menu, the right click context menu and other things like these, which they are working on to fix and resolve. I've made videos on Windows 11 where they've been fixing things and they are certainly going to be making these changes in the up and coming months and even years to come. So bear that in mind that Windows 11 is certainly not finished. No matter what operating system you are using, they are never finished. They are constantly updating and upgrading them. And this is said for any operating system. So don't expect uh, Windows 11 to be the finished article. It's work in progress. And certainly for the first year or two, Windows 11 is going to see some major changes happening to it because they are still working on the operating system right now. If you join the Windows Insider program, you can see some of these changes they're making to the operating system as we speak. And then they're generally released to the general public once they've been tested for a while. So don't expect to see Windows 11 fully finished when you install or upgrade to it. So do I recommend you install or upgrade to Windows 11? Well, I would certainly install Windows 11 rather than upgrade Windows 11. That's probably your best way to approach it. Do I think it's worth upgrading to or installing? Certainly. It's a decent operating system. No matter what people say about it, it's here to stay and it's going to uh, change the way we use our operating system in the future. And some of these changes might not be for the better in some people's opinions. 
So if you have a modern day system that meets the requirements of Microsoft for installing Windows 11 or upgrading to Windows 11, I would certainly consider doing it. Now, if you're using unsupported hardware, I certainly wouldn't upgrade or install Windows 11 on that unsupported PC because Microsoft have already claimed that they may stop security updates for those uh, computers. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. I would say there's not a big difference between the two. Uh, it's certainly not any slower or any faster. There will be obviously more bloat because obviously they've added more features uh, like widgets and other things like that already to the install, which you may want to turn off and you can do and you can turn off all of these features, so which is entirely your choice. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.